After a day's delay because of the weekend rains, just over a dozen schools reopened for face-to-face -face teaching today for the first time since March. And stakeholders say the resumption got off to a good start. Students in uniform. A rare sighting since March when schools closed due to COVID-19. Monday was to be the start of a two-week trial resumption of face-to-face -face classes for 17 schools. But the heavy rains delayed that to Tuesday. We ventured to Alston High School in Northwest Clarendon. Students lined up for processing, a part of the new norm. We're told that there were concerns from some students and parents, like many across the island, as the virus continues to spread. I'm still a fear for her to come in a tight situation like this, but everything you can't keep, you can't keep down, especially education-wise. But with connectivity issues, Miss Palmer couldn't wait for her granddaughter to return to school. I have to send her ne next door so that she can get internet. And sometimes for half days or so they are there and they can't see anything, neither that they are not getting anything from the internet. Principal of Alston High, Adrian Sinclair, says the day went well. The attendance, in my estimation, was pretty good and that the students adhered to the COVID-19 protocols. They came in wearing their masks and they were neatly attired in their uniform. They were very orderly and they attended to every instruction that was given to them by teachers, ancillary staff, and they did extremely well throughout the day. Education Minister Fable Williams says the resumption was smooth, though not all 17 schools chosen open today. Mrs. Williams says the ministry will be monitoring closely the pilot which will guide the resumption of face-to-face -face classes across the island. Yellows High School in St. Thomas asked to be opened tomorrow because they have been dealing with flooding on the school ground. Additionally, Moortown Primary and Junior High School in Portland also asked to be opened tomorrow. We received reports that the parents and teachers have expressed support for the pilot initiative and some were physically present at the school assisting with the preparatory, acti preparatory activities. She says stakeholders will also be surveyed to improve empirical data informing the way forward. Anthony Log, TVJ News.